Welcome to Good Spirit Graphics. Today we're going to introduce you to Mocha Blend, a new add-on for the VFX software Blender. So you've just downloaded Mocha Blend after purchasing it and you will see you get a zip file. I'm going to show you now what to do with it. Let's go ahead and extract it, get the contents out. You'll see we get a folder here. If we click inside the folder inside, you will see several things. One is a Mocha Blend folder. Another is a Mocha Blend exporter folder. You'll get a couple end user license agreement files and a README. If we click on that, we can look at the contents. It says separate installation instructions for Mocha Blend and Mocha Blend exporter are included in their respective folders. We're just going to try to install Mocha Blend at this point. I'll leave Mocha Blend exporter to another tutorial video that is an After Effects plugin. Let's go ahead and click on Mocha Blend, and you'll see another zip file. This is the zip file you will use when you install it in Blender. If we select the README install text file, you will see it has some instructions and it walks you through how to install it inside Blender and some known issues for this version, which as of this video is version 1.03. There are two ways to install add-ons inside Blender. One is a little easier, but the second way is a little better. Now I mentioned before we're going to use this zip file to install, so let's go ahead and start Blender. We're going to be using Blender 2.71 for this installation video. This is the minimum version you should be using to take advantage of all the features Mocha Blend has to offer. So let's go ahead and try and install. We'll go to File, User Preferences, and on the Add-ons tab, we're going to go ahead and click on Install from File. Now if we go ahead and navigate to where we stored that file, I put it in a folder on my F drive called Blender Add-ons. And if you remember, it was down a couple levels in here, Mocha Blend Zip. Let's go ahead and select that, click Install from File, and we see Mocha Blend pops up here. Now, if everything's working correctly, we should just be able to click on this little box and it should activate. If it doesn't check, something's wrong. If we twirl down this little selector here, you'll see we get some options with Mocha Blend. This is where some of the user settings are stored. Camera Solve Data has some options here. The Movie Clip Editor and the Compositor has something you can select over here. For now, let's just go ahead and Close this down right after we click Save User Settings. That's going to make sure that Mocha Blend starts checked the next time Blender starts. So now let's go ahead and close this down. Take a look at the Movie Clip Editor, and if everything worked, Mocha Blend should pop up here on the left panel. If the left panel is not visible, just go ahead and click on View, Tools, or press T on your keyboard, and that will pop open the panel. Here is Mocha Blend up at the top. It says it's not activated. You're going to go ahead and copy paste your activation key. This is not my activation key, but it's probably better to copy paste than to type it in so you don't make any mistakes. Click on activate and you're good to go. Now what did Blender just do when it installed this add-on? I'm going to show you what it did on Windows. It's the same on each operating system, except it stores the information in a different place. So check with the Blender Foundation if you want to see where it's storing it for either an Apple system or for Linux. But on Windows, for the user, which is me, Chris, on this system, there is a folder called App Data. If you don't see this, and it is slightly transparent because it is normally a hidden folder, if you don't see it, you're going to have to go to Tools, Folder Options, look under uh, View, and look down under Hidden Files and Folders and make sure you're showing them. Now if we go ahead and open this App Data folder, you're going to see inside a folder called Roaming, and we go down to Blender Foundation, Blender, and you'll see a list of all the Blender versions where user settings have been stored on my computer. This is a lot of versions of Blender. That's because Blender comes out with a new version every several months. 
Now the problem with this installation method is, when you install an add-on using this method, Blender installs it into the user settings for that particular version. So when 2.72 comes out, for example, you'll have to go back into 2.71, go into the Scripts folder, Add-ons, find your MochaBlend installation folder. This is the one that contains the license files that make MochaBlend work. You're going to have to go in and copy this folder, then go back up, find the new version of Blender, and put it in the correct spot. Now you don't want to just install MochaBlend again with each new version because it is a licensed add-on. So you're going to want to move it from one user setting folder to the next. Blender offers us an easy way to put all our add-ons in one place and all the different versions of Blender, present and future, will go to that one spot and look for add-ons so you don't have to move things around. We're going to create a folder here and we're going to call it add-ons. You have to spell it just like this, lowercase. Now we're going to go ahead and get our Mocha Blend add-on and stick it in there. Now if we go to the Mocha Blend section here, you'll see we have a zip file. We can go ahead and unzip this. This is what Blender used to install Mocha Blend. We're going to do it ourselves here just by extracting it here, looking inside, and we'll see a folder called Mocha Blend. This has all the Mocha Blend files in it, and what we want is this entire folder. We'll go ahead and copy this folder and put it inside our folder that's called Add-ons. Now if you did this correctly, the folder that's inside here should immediately have files in it. It can't be nested. The files need to be right inside this folder. Now let's go ahead and start Blender. And we're going to tell Blender to go to that spot every time it starts by going to User Preferences, File, and looking at the Scripts entry. We can go ahead now and pick where we're storing our Blender add-ons. And you can see here's the folder. Now don't select this folder, just select the folder that contains the add-ons folder here. If we do that, click on Save User Settings, Go to Add-ons, type in Mocha to shorten things a little bit. You'll see we don't find it, anything here yet. That's because we need to restart Blender. So let's go ahead and restart it. Now when Blender starts, it's going to go and look inside that folder for any add-ons. So now let's go back to User Preferences, Add-ons, and in the search box we will type in Mocha, and you'll see Mocha Blend has now popped up in the first slot. Now let's go ahead and enable it here. And you'll see everything is as it was before. We can save our user settings. We can go to the Movie Clip Editor, and once again, we can go ahead and activate Mocha Blend now. I recommend you use this second method. It'll save you some time down the road as new versions of Blender come out, and things will work more seamlessly, so you won't have to move the MochaBlend installation folder around. This is Good Spirit Graphics. 